Welcome to our Haskell programming exploration. Today, we're tackling a question that many learners encounter. How do we implement the length function for lists in Haskell? Our viewer has created two versions of the length function and is curious about their differences. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your questions, answering them, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you'll find that solution you're looking for. Now, let's continue on to the video. Let's begin by examining the two implementations of the length function in Haskell. The first function is called myLength. This function uses foldr, which is a higher order function that processes each element of the list from right to left. It applies the lambda function to each element, effectively counting them. Now let's look at the second implementation, myLength1. This function uses pattern matching and recursion. In myLength1, if the list is empty, it returns zero. Otherwise, it takes the head of the list and recursively counts the length of the tail. Regarding performance, my length may seem faster due to its use of folder, but in practice, both functions have similar time complexity. However, my length one is often easier to read and understand. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Let's explore how to implement a length function in Haskell using folder. First, we define folder, which takes a function, an initializer, and a list. It processes the list recursively. Now, we can implement our length function. The first version uses foldr to count elements by applying a function that adds one for each item in the list. The second version, myLength1, is a straightforward recursive function that counts elements by calling itself on the tail of the list. Both implementations are similar but myLength leverages foldr for recursion, while myLength1 does it explicitly. They should perform similarly in terms of efficiency. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Haskell, both the recursive and folder functions for calculating length do the same thing, but the folder version can be cleaner. However, both methods can lead to memory issues due to building large thunks. To improve this, you can use a helper function that evaluates the count as you go through the list. Using the seek function ensures that the count is evaluated before the next recursive call, preventing thunk accumulation. Alternatively, you can use bang patterns for a more concise version. Another efficient approach is to use foldl, which processes the list from the left and is strict, helping to avoid memory issues.
Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In Haskell, you can implement the length function using folder. The function takes a list and counts the elements by incrementing an accumulator. For example, when you apply length to the list from 1 to 4, it evaluates to 1 plus the result of the next element, continuing until it reaches 0. Remember, Foldar works by taking a function, an initial value, and a list, processing each element recursively. And that's it, guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.